Hello, everybody. Um, I hope everyone's doing really, really well. Um, it's morning for me, so good morning to you. Um, today, I am going to film a requested video um, just updating you all on my makeup routine. So I come to you um, in my pajamas <laughs> um, and with my skin already prepped, I have washed my face, I have serumed, I have moisturized, I have sunscreened, and now I am um, going to just start diving into my updated makeup routine. Um, I kind of vacillate between not wearing like hardly any makeup and then wearing a full face of makeup. I'm kind of in like an in-between right now uh, where I am wearing foundation. I, I wasn't typically wearing foundation, just concealer, but I've been liking kind of really smoothing everything out. And so I will walk you through all of that stuff um, and I'll kind of take you through my whole get ready. Uh, I'll do my hair as well so you can kind of see it all and let's get started. So um, I, I don't really use a primer. I don't really feel like they're very helpful. Um, I have tried many different primers. Um, yeah, some are smoothing, but in the, at the end of the day, I think I have relatively good texture, so I don't really feel like I need too much of that. So I just start straight into the foundation. So I mentioned that I purchased this foundation during the Sephora um, recent sale. Um, so this is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani in color 7.75. I actually have been, just as my skin transitions from like summer sunny to wintery, um, I kind of have this like in-between space. I'm using old like summer colors and mixing it with this just to get the perfect shade. So I do like almost a 50-50 split between this one, maybe a little bit more of this one. And I am also using um, this Forever Skin Glow by Dior in color. You know, I actually have no idea because this was my mom's and she gave it to me. Um, but if I find out, I will post it in the um, little description. But it looks like that, whoopsies, looks like that relative to this color. Um, it just adds a little bit of warmth. It's more like, the, it's kind of like the summer color. Um, so whatever summer color foundation you have, you need to, to mix with your winter foundation to get you the right color, do that. Um, so I'm gonna mix those guys together. and just start dotting it on my face. It's been a while since I've done this, and so you might see me forget how to put on makeup while looking at a screen versus a mirror. And you will hopefully be entertained <laughs> by it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, um, this is the Artiste brush in Oval 7, and I'm just gonna blend out real fast and just so you know I have like a big window right in front of me so this is very much just like daylight it's kind of like a cloudy day so if you're comparing your color and mine um, that's kind of what the lighting situation is right now I really I, I mentioned in my previous video I really really just love these brushes I just feel like it's just so foolproof to get like a really even blend. And it also is just so soft and luxurious. I really feel like makeup is like a self-care. Makeup and skincare is really like a self-care thing for me. I just love doing it. It makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself. So if it feels good, it's worth it. So they are expensive, but um, I think they're worth it. So now I'm gonna go in with my contour. And I'm sorry to all of you for this, but this is the contour I use. It's the Tom Ford. I splurged, I made uh, the investment. I got it in color intensity too. Um, and it's the right color for me, so I will show you how that looks. I take my Artiste Oval 3 and I um, just draw on my contour and then I work on blending it out with a fluffier brush. So right underneath that bone then I kind of draw around the hairline here and then the nose I like 
like these brushes for this just because you can dress it to straight line. But if you have an angled brush or any other, well, that doesn't not look straight at all. <laughs> As I say, I make a straight line. This is real, honestly very, very hard to do on a screen. But you know what? We're just going to go for it. Just going to go for it. You know what? It's looking, it's looking decent. Not mad. Not that mad. I have a bit of crooked notes anyway, so what are you going to do? <laughs> um, I also do a little bit of contour just right in this crease. It just gives me, I think it's a little bit more dimension um, to the face and this side here too. And just pull it up. What I also like about these brushes, which you'll see in a second, is that you can do things like pretty sloppy and then they end up looking good. So <laughs> effortless, effortless is what we're going for here. So now I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to work the contour into kind of right where it's supposed to be. Again, like such an easy, easy uh, brush to use to just get everything blended. Um, and now we're just gonna attempt to fix this nose contour. I like to contour right underneath my nose too. I have a bit of a crooked nose, so just be mindful of that. Um, you know, I think that uh, you can really reshape your nose with contour, but on this camera situation, it's just not happening today. We're just gonna accept it. Okay. I like to do like a little button nose moment up top and then a little lifting under the bottom. I am relatively happy with that. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm just gonna do one of these. Good enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some blush. Actually, before I do that, let's do some concealer. So there's two concealers that I've really been liking recently. They're actually the same brand, they're the same concealer, there's two different versions of the same thing. So um, I've really been liking the Tarte Shape Tape, which you guys have heard me talk about before. And then there's also the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. So depending on the look you're going for, if you're going for more of like a full makeup, um, a bit more mattified look, you're gonna want to do the Shape Tape. If you want more of like kind of glowy, um, like freshly hatched baby chick, I would say go for the, um, Shape Tape Glow Wand. I think today, I think you've seen me use this before. Let's go for this one just to give you a different a, a, a different experience. How's that? I really do use them a bit interchangeably, so um, we're not deviating from my, my daily routine. So I will just put some concealer here and here and here. I also like to put a little bit down on the nose and right there. Um, this, I would say this concealer is really, it's really like, um, pull up a little dot here too. It's sort of like, if you've ever tried, um, this is very ratchet looking because it's been around for a long time, but um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. This is kind of like, it's equivalent in a concealer. It adds that glow, um, really beautiful and, um, it gives you that like, it's hard to describe um, what it does, but, or the texture or exactly the look, but hopefully you'll be able to see it um, as I do this. But you can use it, like, as I was saying, sorry, you can use it for um, concealing and brightening, but also just like highlighting, like hitting the high points of your face. And so um, places where I would usually kind of highlight, I might just also apply that concealer. Ooh, what's that? Hello. It's a sparkle. Not sure where the sparkle came from. That's okay. So you can see it just gives you like a tiniest bit of glow, which is really pretty. Very Victoria's Secret Angel esque, I think. And then add another sparkle. There we go. So you can see that there's just like a light, like the light kind of kisses the areas that I have 
touched with this product. It's really pretty. Um, I would recommend it if you're looking for like a no makeup makeup look uh, or just like a really glowy and like light kissed. I would go for that one. And let me just tell you the color that I am. Um, this is color, the color is called a gleam and that's the right color for me. Oh my gosh, where are these sparkles coming from? Hello. Who knows? Um, okay, now we're gonna move in with the blush. This is the Elephant palette that I also bought during the Sephora uh, sale. And what I do with this bad boy is I just, so this is what it looks like. I use these two blushes, these two blushes, um, kind of mix them together a little bit. So I'll just take my Palm Mini and brush the product on. Um, and then it, this brush picks up quite a bit of pigment and the brushes, blushes are quite pigmented. So I will just kind of dab and then kind of work in. And you can see how pigmented the blushes are as well as how well this brush really like distributes or deposits the color. And something I like to do just to kind of like pull everything together is I actually like to take the color up my nose ever so slightly with whatever, whatever's remaining on the brush just to kind of give you like a a flow of, of, um, of color. And so it's not just like pink and pink. It's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's all just a part of my natural glow, right? Um, or so we try to fool the world into believing. Um, okay, so next, um, what I actually like to do, it's not a necessary step, but it's one that I've been liking recently, it just it gives me a bit more longevity, um, is to actually set my under eyes a little bit. And I'm using these Ko Gen Do powder in, um, I don't know what color it's called. I think it's just like the universal natural lighting powder. So what I have been doing is I've just been taking some of the powder and really just like packing it onto underneath my eyes. Kind of letting it sit there for a hot little minute before brushing it off. Oh, that was unevenly distributed. <laughs> Good enough. That's the motto of today. Good enough. And we're gonna leave it there for just a hot little minute. Um, and then we'll brush it off in a minute, in a second. Um, okay, let's move on to the eyes. So um, for eyeliner, I, this is a classic. It's the Long Wear Gel Liner by Bobbi Brown. This is the color Espresso Ink. I've been liking more like the browns rather than the um, the blacks recently. I just feel like it just softens the look a little bit as I'm like more and more in professional environments. I'm feeling like I'm liking just the brown a little more softness. So I'm going to use this Linear One brush by Artiste to um, pick up the product and deposit it. Um, so another thing that I've been liking doing, so I use it interchangeably. So I literally you do this, or I'll actually use my eyebrow pencil um, by Benefit to use as my eyeliner. Um, really been liking both options, and I might use that on underneath my eyes so you can kind of see what that looks like. But and this might just go really poorly. Just a heads up, but let's give it a shot. So I'm just going to wiggle the liner into. My lash line. Oh, that wasn't so bad. This one's gonna be worse. They look different. <laughs> They're definitely sisters and not twins, but you know what? It's not too bad. I actually like I said, I've been liking the softer look, so I actually don't mind this. It might just soften this side to actually match this side. So I'm just gonna brush up a little bit. So in order to soften, what I do is rather than just kind of going over like horizontally over and over again, I kind of start lifting and flicking up just to kind of like increase the height of the line and the softness of the line as well. Um, and then I, like I said, have been loving using an eyebrow pencil for my eyeliner. Um, and so I'm just gonna wiggle this 
into my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna do here in the upper waterline. And I find it putting like a really soft liner at the bottom and adding a little bit of line liner to the um, upper waterline just helps to get in a like tie in I don't know, make the eyes look kind of cohesive versus it being like, here's a line, nothing else, you know? Um, okay. All right, so at this point, I will brush off whatever powder remains here. Do that, do that. It does take away a little bit of that glowiness, but it's still, I think it makes it last longer and you can still see, the light still does get picked up um, with that under eye concealer. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Next, we are going to um, eyelash curl and mascara ourselves. So, okay, and the mascara that I'm using is this Tower Twenty Eight. I also bought it during the Sephora sale. And um, I have been liking using it to create a bit more of like a cat eye, so I'll actually go outwards. It is a really nice mascara, and what I actually really like about it as well, which I think is an underrated quality of mascara, is its ability to wash off with relative ease at the end of the day. Some I find are just so, even if they're not waterproof, I find them so difficult to get off. This one is relatively pain-free. So I like to shake my mascara wand to the bottom of my lashes first to get that extra volume. And then we go for lift. And I'm just gonna look up for you so you can see. And I'll go to the side as well so you can see what that mascara does for the lashes. I'm quite liking it. Okie dokie, and what remains? I honestly kind of feel like that might be it. Um, sometimes I'll put like a little bit of a gloss on my eyelids. I don't necessarily need to. Um, I will do a lip, just finish it all off. I don't honestly don't often do a lip, but for you I will. Um, so this again, another hack, is my eyebrow pencil again. Really multifunctional. You gotta love it. Um, and I'm going to just kind of create like a bit of a contour as a lip liner. Okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> and I just kind of do like the tiniest bit to create some shape. toothpaste on my lips still this is the real deal guys <laughs> um, and I'm going to use a combination of my two favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks which is pillow talk and bitch perfect it's just a sassy little name um, okay so here's pillow talk kind of lay it as the base really close match to my natural lip color And I like to use Bitch Perfect in the center. A bit more of a nude. And that's kind of most of it. Um, I think the last piece, last couple of pieces, I'll go in with a um, eyebrow gel. I have pretty decent eyebrows. They're pretty full, so I just find that brushing them up makes them just look a bit more groomed. And so I use the Anastasia Clear. I just get the mini because um, I just feel like it like, dries out a little bit uh, or it can get like kind of goopy if you use uh, other brow products. And so um, sometimes I'll fill, in, I'll fill in a little bit with my brow pencil. Sometimes I won't. just depends on the day. Mm 
So you can see it just gives you like a, a pretty decent lift. Um, this side kind of looks a little more flat. This side looks a little more awake. So we will go in this side and do the same. Okay. And in terms of makeup, I think we're kind of done. Um, other things that I might do sometimes, again, depending on the mood, is I might use some of these powders um, here to um, just kind of like finish things off. I might just kind of dust it all over. Uh, again, just depends on where I'm going and how, how into it I'm feeling. It doesn't necessarily add a ton of difference, but I do like how it finishes things off. Um, I think that that's everything. Uh, the last thing I will do is show you how I kind of like finish my hair off or like style second day or even third day hair. I have thick hair, so luckily I can get to third day without things getting too greasy. Um, so I am going to use my Dyson Air Wrap and I'm gonna use this soft brush, I don't know what kind of brush it is, volumizing brush, um, just to kind of give myself some a kind of a cohesion and smoothness. And I'm also gonna use the round brush head at the end to just kind of style the front. Before I do that, I'm gonna use, I know my hair is dry. I'm actually gonna use this Heated Defense by Kevin Murphy. Um, this is a product actually you can use on wet or dry hair. It's really lightweight and it just gives you the extra heat protection. So, you know, I think it's a really good investment. My hairstylist, like, I kept being so neglectful of, of protecting my hair from heat and she was like, you're buying this this time. And I was like, yes, ma'am. And so <laughs> um, it's, it's actually really, really good and lightweight. And now we're ready to style it. Maybe it takes a tiny bit damp, but uh, we're gonna dry it anyway, so we're good. So I'm just gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna try and mute myself as I do this and just bloop, and then I will use the round brush and we will finish off. What I love about this is that you really don't have to know what you're doing at all <laughs> and you can still end up looking relatively decent. So, you know, I'm all about the effortless here. I should just rename this channel. Um, okay, guys, that is pretty much it. I'm ready for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and sorry, I know I was looking a bit more here than here today, um, but I was just trying to make sure I wasn't making my makeup look totally funky. Um, and so uh, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you um, would like to. Uh, follow my Instagram channel called at Tantrix Makeup if you would like to as well. I post little things here and there on that one as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye bye. I'm just gonna insert here at the end a really quick last minute thing that I do because um, I just didn't want to forget it is that I really like this all-nighter spray. So um, I really find it adds tons of longevity to my makeup. Um, it's just like such a good investment because I find that if I don't use a setting spray, I'm not really oily or anything like that, but I just find the makeup just like disappears over time. This just, I think, you know, it's a tried and true, it's a classic, it's a good investment. Um, I think right now, maybe there's holiday sets where you can get like two of them for um, the price of one, or maybe like $4 more, and I'm never gonna be without this.
So get it because you spend all this money on makeup and look amazing and then like six hours later you will just look like you have as I do, like just not put anything on. So um, 